Guys, today I'm going to be telling you about multiple such universities whose application fee waivers I have for you so that you can go ahead and apply to these universities for free. You don't need to spend any money and apply to these universities using the application course that we have already gotten for you. How beautiful is that? Because this video is going to save hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars for some of the candidates out there. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go on to wangrad.com and this is important simply because we're going to go into the article section and the latest article over here is universities without an application fee in 2025. But if you're watching this later on, you may not see this on top. So don't worry, just search for it. But as soon as you click on it, right, what you will see is that there comes a list of universities where we have actually given you codes or essentially pathways through which you can go ahead and get waivers. Now, let's start with number one. And yes, it is the Ivy League Columbia University. Now, this one is not applicable to everyone, but hold on. Remember, the best comes towards the end. <laughs> All right. So the first thing is Columbia University. If you want an application for you as an international student, you should be in one of these approved programs. If you're a part of these, great. No problem at all. You will get the application fee waiver. If not, that's okay because for the next universities, I have something more special. NYU Tan, we emailed them and we said that, hey, NYU, we want to apply to your engineering school and, you know, can you please give us an application fee waiver? And they responded, as this is literally the application fee waiver code, Tandon B K L Y N. You put this in your application, you don't have to pay the application fee. I just saved you right now close to $100, I mean. Let's see, next one. Carnegie Mellon University, and this is also beautiful in that you just have to send them an email on this email ID, and you can actually see that application fee waivers will be basically given out if you basically, again, apply for this MSc program. And you can even verify this. This screenshot has been taken from their website, right? All you have to do is to email them. So if you are living outside the US, not a current student or unable to obtain a financial aid letter, include a brief description of the financial needs. So you can explain that, hey, I'm not able to afford this. I'm applying to multiple schools. Now on the basis of that, they may actually end up giving you a waiver. So you can verify all of this. It's all present right there. The next one is Georgia Institute of Technology. Again, if you need an application fee waiver, you need membership from certain associations and you can apply in that case. Otherwise, let's move on to the next one, University of Rochester. Now, the beautiful thing again about Rochester, United States is that they, and especially their Simon Business School, is waiving the application fee for international students. The international students part is important, right? Because you are not from the US. And the code is going to be applied automatically to your profile if you just go ahead and email them. So what we do is, you know, again, you basically email them and you can see we email them and they say a fee waiver has been added to your account associated with this email address through which we reach out to them, right? And if, if we apply now for, from this email, basically, it's free to apply. And it's as simple as that. All you want to do is you just want to email them and they'll apply the code automatically. The next one is Vanderbilt. Again, similar things basically will show up. Vanderbilt says the application fee waiver request submitted via the Coalition and Common App. This is for undergraduate students, by the way, are accepted without exception. And uh, basically, the fee is automatically waived for anyone using the Quispers application. This is for undergrads. And if you're an international graduate student, master's, PhD, in that case, basically, you are eligible to re receive a discretionary waiver. What essentially means is that a small number of waivers are granted. So again, you have to apply before the deadline. Make sure that you apply as early as possible. The sooner you apply, the more your chances of getting the waiver. The next one is Northeastern University. All right. And Northeastern also over here gives you the exact fee waiver code that is global COE25. Remember that this code was for 2024. I do not know if it will work in 2025 applications because they are yet to start for Northeastern. But if they update the code, I've added the verify now link so that you can click on it, reach the Northeastern website, get the updated version of the code as well. All right. And you'll see similar things happening with other universities. We have University of South Florida, United States. They have one. We have Steel Institute of Technology, again, very popular. And th their way of giving the waiver is a bit different. What they ask you is that you attend one of their webinars. So as you, as, as you see in the email, we reached out to them and they said that we do not have application fee waivers outright. But if you go ahead and attend one of our webinars, which are also great resources for learning about Stevens, the application process and your program of interest. In that case, basically, they will apply the waiver in two to three business days to your email ID, as they said. All right. And this is the link for essentially, you know, which which kind of, uh, you know, webinars are coming up. You just have to, you know, look into it for one hour and within two to three days, you can get the application fee waived. It's as simple as that. So again, close to again, $100 again saved up. There's other universities, other colleges, Citadel Graduate College, Catholic University of America, Culinary Institute of America, United States, they gave again their code as well. 
Southeastern University, we have Waseda University, we have Norwegian University of Science and Technology, we have Tianjin University, China, we have one in Italy, we have one in Finland. So there's quite some over here, but keep in mind that I'll leave the link to this article in the description of this blog, uh, in, of this video. <laughs> but keep in mind that you need to recheck this. The reason is we are still reaching out to a lot of universities, getting into these waivers, and chances are by the time you look at this one, we may already have updated the list. Or if we haven't, just make sure that you sign up on ymgrad.com. If you're signed up, we'll keep you notified about these important waivers that can actually help you save hundreds or even thousands of dollars while applying to universities. I hope that this video helps share this with the people who will benefit because we want the maximum number of people to actually benefit because applications should be as cheap as possible. In fact, they should be free, right? But we understand that it's not for everyone, but we are giving you these codes because we want you to know that we care. I hope this helps. Again, subscribe to the channel if you want more such content. You can follow us on Instagram where we also keep on telling you more about some of these codes. And I wish you all the best until